Here are eight cool ways to pick up your skateboard. Up first, we have the regular old pickup, which is pretty much just the standard way of kicking your board up into your hand. There's not really anything special about this one, but if you're new to skating, it's definitely something you should learn because it sure beats having to bend over to pick up your skateboard. All you have to do for this one is put your foot pretty much in the center of the tail facing forward, and then you're just gonna pop the tail straight down and just make sure you move your back foot out of the way and you don't keep it on the tail. Practice that a few times and make sure you're not hitting the tail too hard or too light. And the next step would just be to hold your hand out with your palm facing upward. And then you just pop the tail down like you did before. And as the nose comes up and around, you just grab it and hold on. Like I said before, there's nothing really special about this one, but it's something that everyone should know how to do. Up next, we have the nose pickup. Now I've already covered this one a bunch of times in a few different videos. So I'm gonna keep this one brief because you probably already heard me talk about it a whole bunch. But for this one, you're rolling and then you take your back foot off and then pop down on the nose with your front foot. And as the tail comes up behind you, you grab the board. Practice this one by putting your foot in the center of the nose facing forward. And also make sure it's not too far on the edge. And then you just use your ankle and your toes to press straight down and pop the board up. And it should pop up pretty easily. And if you press straight down, it tends to stay right behind your leg, which makes it easy to find when you're reaching down to grab it. So you can practice this one while standing still, but I actually find it easier if you have some momentum going forward. And the cool thing about this one is you can pretty much do it while you're going any speed. For number three, we have the Ollie pickup. For this one, you're riding regular on your board, and then you kind of pop the board up, almost like you're gonna do a nose grab but you put your feet straight to the ground and you just grab the board. For this one, you can practice just popping small rocketed ollies and trying to grab the nose. And you can also mess around with sort of doing the same thing but kicking the board out in front of you. And then it's just a matter of putting these together and having good timing so you can grab the nose of the board. Something to keep in mind when you're trying this one is that when you go to pop the board up and kick it in front of you, you wanna to try to keep the board as straight as you can so it's easier to grab. So don't kick your front foot off to the side and accidentally make the board flip over. And the best way to do this is just to have your feet in standard ollie position and not turning your front foot at an angle at all. Once you've tried this one a few times, it should be pretty easy to pop into. Up next, we have the impossible pickup. For this one, when you're standing off to the side of your board, you slam down on the tail and scoop it around like an impossible. And as it comes around all the way, you grab the trucks with your back hand. This one's pretty flashy and it's not really useful, but it's really fun to do. The first thing you'll want to know before doing this one is how to do these one-footed impossibles. They're pretty easy to do if you try them a few times. There's just a couple things to watch out for. The main one being that you want to make sure your back foot is in the pocket with your toes hanging off rather than on the tail because you're not really going to pop this one. You're going to scoop it. And once your foot is in the right place, you just press down and scoop it around. After that, just like the regular pickup, you just stick your hand out with your palm facing up, and then you do the one-footed impossible. And as the board comes around, reach your hand out and try and grab it. And you could probably try and grab it by the tail, but for me at least, it seems easiest just to let it land in mall grab position. For number five, we have the kick-up pickup. Now this is another one I've covered before, but it's also really fun to do. You basically start off like a regular pickup, except once the board's popped into the air, you slide your foot underneath the tail, kick the board up into the air, and then grab it. This one can be a little tricky at first, but once you get it down, it feels really cool. So like I said, you basically want to start off with your back foot on the tail, just like for the regular pickup. And once you snap the tail down, the main goal is to slide your foot into that little gap underneath. You want the tail of the board to land on the top of your shoe so that you can push it upwards and catch it with your hand. The main thing to getting this down right is to make sure that when you pop the board up, you're not popping it too hard so the nose comes too far over and also that you're not popping it too lightly. Basically, the goal is to pop the board just enough so that it ends up straight up and down. And then once you've done that and you slide your foot underneath, all you have to do is lift your foot up and kick it into the air. Just make sure you don't kick it too hard and hit yourself in the face. For number six, we have the cool guy pickup. Now this one starts off similar to the nose pickup, except when you pop this one, instead of letting it go right into your hand, you let it fly up and flip around and then you catch it under your arm. 
So the other main difference with this one is instead of popping the nose down with your toes, you're actually gonna use your heel, which will allow you to pop harder and cause the board to fly in the air. I also like to use my heel slightly on the side of the nose rather than right in the middle. I find that this helps the board flip in the right direction rather than just going straight up. So you can practice stomping down on your nose a few times with your heel just while standing still. And if you get the board to flip up right, then you should be able to easily tuck it under your arm. Another thing I found that helps is that when you go to pop the board up, if you keep your body facing straight, the board will tend to fly up and just hit you in the butt. But if you turn your body slightly to the side of the arm that the board is supposed to go under, then it gives it just a little bit more room to flip. Up next, we have the wall bounce pickup. Okay, so this one's pretty much the stupidest one ever, and it's not really even a thing. I was just messing around earlier, but if for whatever reason you wanna learn it, then here it is. So in an older video of mine, I taught you how to do the wall bounce. And for this one, you basically start off the same way, but after the board has hit the wall, you grab it with your hand. I'm not really sure if this would ever be useful, but it's a thing you can do. For this one, all you really need to be able to do is kick the board out in front of you. And similar to the Aldi pickup, you want to keep the board as straight as you can when you kick it up. And then it's just a matter of doing that, but straight into a wall. And basically to get this first part down, I would just watch my video that has the wall bounce in it. There's not too much to it, but there's definitely some little things to know. Anyways, after you kick it into the wall, all you have to do is reach out and try and grab it. So yeah, I don't know. And finally for our last one, we have the flip up. So you've probably seen this one around as it's gotten kind of popular recently. For this one, you basically have one foot under the tail and one foot above it, and then you press down on one and lift up on the other so the board flips. And as it flies into the air, you reach down and grab it. Even though I'm still not really good at doing this one yet, I still think it's a lot of fun. So you wanna start off with your back foot under the side of the tail. You're gonna have both feet facing forward. And for the one under the tail, I have my toes basically touching the wheel and just a tiny bit more than half of my foot is under the board. And for your other foot, you have it on top of the tail on the other side. So while you're in that position, your back foot that's under the tail, all it's gonna do is lift straight up. But if you try this without the foot on top, you'll see that it doesn't really do anything. So at the same time that you're lifting up with your back foot, you're gonna press down with your other one. And if you get the timing right, this should cause the board to fly up and flip over. So you can practice doing just the feet part until you get it to flip over correctly. And then from there, it's just a matter of adding your hand in and trying to grab the board as it flies up. Like I said, I'm still not too good at this one and I probably bend over further than I should for it. But once you get that timing between your feet right and the board flips, it feels really nice to do. So those were just eight fun little ways of picking up your board. I usually do top tens, but I just couldn't think of two more, so if you have any other cool ways, then leave them in the comments. So these may seem a little dumb or pointless, but some of them can actually be pretty hard to do, so I challenge you to learn them. So go out and skate and learn and have fun. As always, I'd like to thank my wonderful Patreon pledgers. You have my gratitude and thank you for your support. And besides that, I'd like to thank you for watching and you can like and subscribe if you want.